Hey friends, it's Velvet. I am here today. Um, gosh, I don't even know what day it is for the 100 day challenge, but it's got to be, are we two weeks in? I think it started two weeks ago today. So I guess this would be day 15. Okay. Anyways, I wanted to show you what I've been working on this weekend. Um, let's start with this. So I did, I tried some of the Mamagami stuff. I think I may have shown you in the last video, but, um, so this is paper that I printed on. These are not my designs. They're somebody else's. I don't remember who. If I were to hazard a guess, I would say, um, CTRL art, but I can't tell you that for a fact. Um, so I mama got me these, and if you don't know what that is, that is turning paper into a fabric type of thing. Um, I just did it with hand lotion. So I took the piece of paper, uh, let's just say, let me see, let's just say it's this piece of paper. This is a little thick, but it would still work. Um, and then you just Cover your hands in hand lotion and just start rubbing it all over, all over, every inch, front and back. And then you just kind of scrunch it up and then undo it and make sure that there's still lotion all over it. And then you scrunch it up again and undo it. And you just keep doing that until it becomes like this. So see what you can do with this? Look at that. It does still rip very easily. So you kind of have to be careful, but it's just a really cool effect. So I did it with this piece of paper and then I sewed the paper onto a, um, so yeah, I cut down the paper so that it would just look like this. Then I sewed it onto this paper bag. Um, and so this is going to be a paper bag album. This, uh, what I typically do with paper bag albums is I will put some paper down here something pretty, but, um, something not too terribly distracting. And then I'll do vellum pockets, three on each. And then on one of these, maybe this one, maybe this one, I will sew in a signature and it's usually mostly, um, papers that can be written on. So it'd be coffee dyed papers and, um, you know, maybe some handmade paper, stuff like that. So I sew it in and then I close it up. And that's our front. I did it a little different. Usually I, um, well, actually I could do it the same way I always do. So I usually do it like this. So it opens up like this. And I did, I did attach this here. I don't want the flap here open, but I will keep this open to tuck mementos in and see it ripped, but, um, the paper should take care of that. And in fact, I forgot to bring them down, but upstairs, I mama got made some more paper. I'm pretty sure I forgot to bring them down. Oh no, I've got them. Here we go. Whoops, I'm dropping things. Here's some. Here's what they look like to begin with. And then that's what it ended up being. See? Just really cool papers. Look at this one. I love this one. So these could be the inside of this um, journal that I'm making. I don't know. This one ended up a little better than the others. I may need to um, put some more lotion on these because they're not as soft as this one. And I like that soft. But anyways, now that you know how to do that. Oh, and then you just kind of set them aside to, you know, dry all the way through. But yeah, um, I think I wanted to do that one too. So I, it can be used, uh, you can use oil on that too, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't tried that. I only did the lotion. Um, so yeah. Anyways, that's the start of this journal. I love having this much done of it so that I can just go to town. Let me come back to that one. Um, this is just the start of another one using the, uh, the fabric that I hauled, I think in the last video that I did. Oh, one of the last videos. So I just, um, this was, I just put, glued this on. I don't go all the way to the edges so that I can sew around it. Glued this side on and what was left from this, I just put it here and here. And then I sewed down the middle because they're overlapping and I just wanted to be sure that that was gonna work there. Um, uh oh, there we go. 
And then I just did a zigzag stitch around it. I'll probably do another stitch onto um, the actual Amazon packaging that I use. See? Um, but maybe not. I might just do some other stitching. I might, you know, put a pocket here or something, but I don't, I don't know. And then finally I did this. This is um, old uh, music paper from music books that I have. I have a million of them um, that I mamagamied. It worked well. I did two pieces. So um, I used, I cut this down to fit here. This is a, a paper bag again. See, it's a interesting small paper bag that they have at one of the stores here in my little town. So I'm like, oh, I have to keep that because it's kind of cool. So there's the front and then I put the, um, this is the back and I folded the front over top of the back for added um, uh, structure, I guess you could say. And then I just put some paper in here because it's got a handle here that I wanted to cover up. I put some paper here and here. And then um, this is from the, co the front cover that I folded over and there was a little gap. So I put some thick, um, washi tape here then I sewed some lace on and I like that so much and because there's a space here I decided to sew another piece on here so it would look layered so we've got this pocket that we can fill up and then I did create a small pocket here I did not glue it that's just in the gusset here and then what I'll end up doing is I'll make some pockets and I will sew in guys what is wrong with you I will sew in a signature and I will do that usually I use my sewing machine but this in this case I will do it hand by hand um, because it, it's it'll be a little bit fragile this is kind of weird right here I may need to glue a little bit more because I think it just didn't glue enough so I may just stick a little glue right in there and that should take care of this this thing here that's going on but I'm really excited about this project I think this is gonna be the next one that I finish up and I think I can actually finish it today I may take you along for the ride once I get my um, signature all set and um, decorations all right so that is that and then um, oh wait I did a pocket too I had oh what did I do with that pocket I think you probably just saw it because I had it there it is I just, whoops, <laughs> I got stuff falling all over the place. I just did a little envelope thing. I've got to um, take that off. But I just folded up the mamagami sheet and um, just sewed it. I sewed across the top first before I folded it. And then I did that. And this could, um, I could close this with like Velcro or a magnet or something. Maybe even a, a button or something. Um, and then this could be, this could just get stuck into a journal. It could be even paper clipped in, I think. So that was fun. And it's just, you know, it's just something fun to do. And then finally what I did um, yesterday was I did a whole bunch of these. I have this, um, I have this little packet of things that I do myself uh, where I use my own stamps to stamp on coffee dyed paper or just scraps of paper and then I either rip them or cut them out, I'll ink the edges and then stick them on embellishments, um, clusters and things. So I had seen a video where someone was actually sewing them onto their clusters and I don't typically do that until after the cluster is all done. But I just decided that it looked really cool and so that I would do that. I um. Oops, this goes in here, that goes in there. Um, so what I did was I just ripped up some of my linen that I've got sitting here. And I just sewed some of these things around. And I love how they turned out. And I love how grungy they are because I left... Oops, that one didn't get done. Um, I left all of the string on. And of course, you know this linen, this cotton linen... Um, uh, phrase very very well so there's this is what I've done I just love it isn't that cool yeah I did two here because this right here is from a project life this back one project life thing 
that I'm not using anymore, of course, because they're like bright colors and stuff and they're more for scrapbooking. But anyways, I turned it over and this, it was this beigey color. So I just used it for that. Don't they look cool? I think that's, yeah, that's the way it goes. This one is just from some old packaging paper that I used. And actually I made a pocket out of this one. Um, and that one, I just decided to sew across the top. Really, really like these. I'm so glad I made a lot of them. So those will go into my finished ephemera stuff. And I also have started a little um, tray of things that are left over on my bar, on my table, um, that I want to grab from when I'm creating ephemera or you know, journal pages and stuff. These are just, it's just all kinds of stuff in here. Um, things that I just find on my table. A twig I picked up outside. I, I think I told you we lost a big tree because of the windstorm earlier this week. And um, I went outside and just grabbed a twig. <laughs> I just love lo using um, twigs and stuff. So, yeah. All right. So that is what I have going on. Oops. I've got to put these back too. That's what I've got going on right now, and um, you will probably see me again soon because I'll be doing one of these journals, I think. So thanks for tuning in and um, uh, hitting like, subscribing, and everything you do for uh, to support me. I do appreciate it, and I appreciate you. Thanks. Bye.